So we're going to have a quick look at uh, Foresight Sports Zombie Golf. I'm going to get into the survival level here and play Zombies in the Valley on level hard. Mm -hmm. And we'll see what it looks like. The idea here is to drop grenades on the zombies before they come and attack you. This is only 88 yards and they're going to start coming out of those buildings any minute. And we just got to keep launching grenades on them. They're going to come fast because it's level hard. Uh, so that's what it's going to look like. That was let's a complete miss hit, but let's go. Once they get really close, and um, it's going to get a little bit faster. As you can see, the graphics aren't very good. There's a lot of There's a lot of errors in the software. It's hard to get loaded. It crashes quite a bit. Oh, that was too far. I gotta knock these close guys out. So I've played it once or twice. There is a, a level where you can go online and you got to compete online and you're going through different levels and just like a lot of uh, different types of games with uh, locked levels, you have to meet and exceed a certain score to move on. Um, it's the best that I know of it anyway. Like I said, I haven't really played any of this. I bought it with uh, higher expectations than what it was. I thought the graphics were going to be better. Um, I tried to find at the time, and I bought this quite a long time ago, I tried to find some um, videos online and there wasn't a lot out there so I couldn't tell whether it was worth having or not. Um, once I got it, I think I played just a few minutes and gave up from that point. There's just too many errors in the software and it's not quite the, the track man look of zombies but uh, it's better than nothing, I guess. So there are different um, there are different courses where you have to get a lot longer irons, and that makes it quite challenging. Versus I'm hitting a lob wedge right now, which is quite easy, and they're not moving very fast. But if we let them creep in here a little bit. You can see at the top of the screen, it's got the distances as they're moving in. So it's 53 and counting as they're stepping forward. What so far, it? this is all about survival. So in the right-hand corner of the screen, it says we've survived 2 minutes and 18 seconds. I'm just going to let them get a little closer and see what happens. Once they get really close, they will start running. So I'm going to throw some out in the far back and let the guys in the front get closer and what? we'll let them attack me. Why? Because um, I'm pretty much done. It was just a quick video to show everybody what uh, the zombies looks like. So uh, part of it is to see what happens when they start attacking and here it goes. Game over. Game over. That's it. Zombies. Six